Hello and welcome to episode 1 of Gonkcraft. Here on the Gonkcraft server, we do many things like be stupid and be a ripoff of Hermitcraft. But that's not important. What is important is that today is the pilot episode, and by the pilot episode I mean I'm continuing this series whether you like it or not. Or I'm not continuing this series. One or the other, you don't have a choice. Anyways, this is a survival multiplayer server with a couple of my friends, uh, including some familiar faces. In fact, there was also an another Gonkcraft episode by someone else that, that yeah, this isn't that world, it's different, uh, because, uh, technical difficulties. Whatever it may be, this is a brand new start, a brand new world with absolutely no development on it. Absolutely none. There's no, there's definitely no, nothing been done on the server before. Absolutely not. Whatever it is important, the important matter here is that I haven't done anything yet. So, why don't we get started? And why would we start in the overworld? That's lame. Let us instead start in the kindest environment of all, the nether. What is this? I like that. And as you can see here, this is the most forgiving environment of all time. There's no danger to be seen anywhere, and that, that's because we're on peaceful. But trust me, it won't be on peaceful forever, just on peaceful for now, because it's obnoxious to start the game in peaceful. But whatever, we're starting in the nether, because reasons. Yeah, this time I plan to make my base inside the nether, rather than in a dark oak forest, because... 90 times I make my base in a dark oak forest, but not today. Unfortunately, none of the biomes here seem to be uh, very nice. They, they just seem to be pretty much entirely soul sand and vessel for right now. But don't, don't you worry, we will find something. This is a stupid choice. <laughs> that was a bad choice. Oh no. Okay, so this is going to be a bit more difficult than I thought. So, why don't we go travel in the overworld first? Now, I know I said I was starting in the nether, and we did start in the nether, and... <laughs> and, that, and that's all you need to know. Now we're back in the overworld, because um, I couldn't find any trees. Sad. But that's not the important part. The important part is that we have uh, acacia trees and sand. The best biomes to start your Minecraft survival world in. D d I did some mining off camera, and now I have this house. No, 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 this isn't my house. I don't even know whose stuff this is. Uh, just mind if I don't date. Just, just, just kidding. I'm not like that. I should put that back. That would be very disrespectful and rude and oops, stone. But, but, yeah, this isn't my house. Uh, I just wanted to use a crafting table, so... Here we go, and here we got We got the crafting table. And, uh, thankfully, we can just make a boat. Oh, no, this is bedrock, I forgot. So, you see, it's, I'm a Java player, but this is a bedrock realm. So, naturally, it's the worst thing in existence. And So, there we go, I have a shovel now. The most useful uh, item in the entire game. Second only to hones, exact. Yeah, I'm, that's what I meant to say. Now, let us begin our mighty grand adventure. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Well, um, that didn't work. What we're using this boat for is so that we can get far enough away to find a biome that is in desert. Or, or, or savanna, but it, deserts and savannas are pretty much the same thing. And so now we begin the epic journey through the water. And maybe if we're lucky, we'll find a shipwreck there too. Look! 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 Okay! Oh. It's another... It's another one of those naturally generating a ruined portals. This is how they normally do. Wait, 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 we're about to have exciting drama, adventure! Wait, you can jump out of the boat in Bedrock by pressing space? I did not know that, but that's cool. Anyways, what is this? It's probably empty. It's not empty, I will take that! 
How has that not already been looted? Oh no, oh no. Now kids, if you don't already know, drowning is bad for your health. Generally, it is considered indeed a health hazard. I know that's shocking information, but ooh, another one! Here we see that there's there's nothing here. Except there should be, there should be something right here. Oh, there was nothing here. Oh no. Um, here's where we go over to the magma block. That didn't work. Well, I got myself into a pickle. Not entirely sure I'm going to get myself out of this pickle. But whatever it is, pickles don't taste good. So, that's my uh, decision making. Uh, see, I think I'm at wait. This is unpeaceful. What am I worrying about? I generate hearts faster than I drown. Drowning is a, uh, remember what I said earlier, uh, drowning, uh, drowning is perfectly okay and healthy if you are, uh, if there are no hostile mobs around. You, you don't see any zombies? It's perfectly okay to drown. <laughs> and there we go, we finally found, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, are you telling me, are you telling me? That this entire time, I could have just gone here to find the chest. Hey. This time, I have another five lead and a treasure map. Little did the poor troll know how much pain this map was going to cause. Ooh. Okay, let's get out of the water. And back into the water. And hopefully I can find my first diamonds completely legit. Time to use the shovel. This isn't the shovel. Okay, so this buried treasure is uh, not fun to get. You know what? You know what? Screw this entire process. Where is where is the nearest x-ray glitch? Who cows? Okay, so after some research, it turns out that um, x-ray glitches in bedrock are really, uh, uh, really easy. Like, seriously, I literally have all the materials I need right here, if, if it works. So, this should be over there. So, if I just start digging down... Why am I not using my shovel? Yeah, that's the father's forgetting. I could just do this. Oh, oh, oh. Those are painful. So this should work. This is a little bit harder than I thought it was going to be. Be honest. So I just not it. Okay. So I give up on the buried treasure. I don't even want to bother with this with this garbage. I couldn't cheat the game, I just cheated myself. And there we go, here's another one. Let's see if anything special is under here. Ooh, ooh, like that one. And four more pieces of wheat, exactly what I needed. Ah, there it is, there it is, there it is. That's what I've been searching for, the shipwreck. Uh oh. That's not good. Oh wait, right, it's peaceful. It's peaceful. I, I thought I was about to have a... <laughs> it's a very serious encounter there. And another one! Let's see which map this gets us. Please, be one easier to exploit. God dang it, it... Also, ooh, look, a cave. There's some gold down here. There, yeah, there's a lot of gold down here. What is this, a mesa? This isn't a mesa. Okay, okay, okay. That's what? That's three gold veins in one ravine. It's not even a large ravine, it's just a tiny ravine. 
And there's three. Three gold pieces. There's lapis here too, but... That's not, that's not what I'm... There's so much gold in this ravine. There's another one! What is it with this ravine and gold? There's another one too! This entire this entire ravine must have been miscoded to be a mesa. I, I I can't believe this. Ha! Huh. Where's my boat? Oh, land! But boring land. It's mountains. This is my fault. I said I should have been more specific. Uh, I should have been more specific when I was talking about uh, not desert. Uh, I would have preferred uh, not uh, mountains either. No. And if I take a look, there's another one here. Ooh. But is there any chests here? I don't think there's a chest over there, but. I do think there's a chest over here. On the other hand, aha, yes there is. There's nothing in here. Well, we began the very long and tedious process of mining stone. Wait a minute, I'm not regenerating all the way, am I? Okay, stupid dolphin. You getting in my way. No. I can't believe dolphins, they always get in the way of me mining stone with an imp- <coughs> Die! <coughs> you know, this structure, this structure is not worth it. I'm going to this one instead. There better be a pickaxe in here. A treasure map! Let's see if it's the same one as the other ones. I'd be thrilled if that was the case, since I love seeing the other ones so much. Hey, wait, 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 this one's different, this one's different. Wait, this one might, have... this one's different, guys. This is, this is big, this is big, this is a big moment. There's a reason this platform is called Glitch Rock. And that's because it's glitchy. You can already tell. No, not again! Thank goodness my fist doesn't have durability. Or else the, the, the dolphins would have probably broken it. Boat. God. Look, this isn't working. Very clearly, isn't working. No, would you look at that? Food. Or more accurately, pain. This will be a great way. I can start the Valley of Sweet Berries. Which, if you don't already know, because why would you know? It's a giant valley. Of sweet berries. Yes, I, I know, I know, it's hard to believe, but trust me, it really is a giant valley of sweet berries with literally no other purpose, and it's pretty much impossible to harvest anything from it, but it's there because of reasons. But yeah, I'm going to be doing this too. And so you see, the quest to to cheese this stupid structure is continuing. My inventory is cluttering, and bundles might actually have helped with this, if I'm being entirely honest. In fact, what, what am I doing? Why am I using a stupid wooden pickaxe? Let's use the far superior stone pickaxe. Hey, a fox! What does the fox say? It says... 
that's what it says. <laughs> Hello. No horse. Why don't you just not let them kill the horse? Don't worry, Dimex. I'm going to be helpful. Tr just ignore that message. Uh, just, just trust in that it's going to be helpful for the both of us. Oh, I found, I found an abandoned mine shaft using totally legitimate Minecraft means. You do realize you can go to the Nether, right? With Striders. Yep, they dropped string. And even if they didn't, you could get them from bothering with picklins. Yeah, this is actually the fourth installment of Gunkcraft. Yeah, this is the fourth world. No, 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 no. There was, uh... There was the first world, which was, uh, corrupted when we tried to turn on coordinates because none of the nether portals were working. Then there was the, uh, the second world, the, uh, one I have footage of so we can conveniently scroll through that. And then there was the third one, the one that I had plans to build my, uh, oh... The, uh, the SS Toucan, I think was what I called it. Yeah, there was a third world. There was a third world. It had a village. Uh, it ended pretty quickly. This would be a nice place to live. It, th this would be a nice place to live if I wasn't going to the nether. Because, you know, it's nice. This place is nice, but it's not... Nice as hell. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not sure what to do right now. I'm kind of freaking out. Oh! Hey! 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 I finally found the right treasure! And it was someone- it was, it was someone else's buried treasure. And- and I dug it up. And I didn't even dug it up. They are- they already dug it up. And the chest is empty. But I'm taking it. <laughs> I'm taking it, god dang it. I'm taking the chest. It did! Don't know why sleeping through the night was important, considering we're on peaceful, but it was. Thankfully, it doesn't matter because one player's sleep is coming to Java in uh in 1.16. Not to bedrock, though, for some godforsaken reason. 1.16 is just 1.17 minus 2. You know, something that ger genuinely scares me in politics is thinking that, uh, like, in 2018, the amount of influence that YouTubers are going to have over the election. 2018? Not 2018, 2028. Because, like, let's think about this. Let's say that one million of Dream subscribers not live in America and are uh, against the party uh, uh, that uh, whatever Dream supports. Like, but just imagine, like, even if, say, only half a million people uh, Dream saying that, uh, oh, this so such and such party sucks, vote this. Like, even if it's just zero point. Five million people. That's still a lot. <laughs> That's enough to change elections. I say 2028, by the way, because uh, I'm assuming that a lot of the uh, uh, fans of these sort of YouTubers uh, aren't quite, uh, are probably teenagers and not quite, yeah, they can't quite vote, but 
In 2028, they will. Huh? Although, Dream probably isn't going to be relevant in 2028. But that doesn't mean that there aren't going to be similar... There aren't going to, that doesn't mean there aren't going to be similar people. I just want to say, I'm curious to see just how much of the Hermitcraft server would burn down if Firetech was turned on. Like, like how much, how much of the server would be just gone? And we're back to where we started, back in the desert, because I can't find the stupid lava pit. That was a lot of, uh, <laughs> that was a lot of gravel that just fell on me. Gravel lights on fire in bedrock. Let's hope for a whoop board, baby! I don't think so. There's dirt everywhere. There's dirt everywhere for some reason. Oh no, it is the main portal. <laughs> Thankfully, I will be able to uh, locate the uh, <laughs> locate my stack of iron I just put in a furnace. For right now, I just need to focus on getting away because uh, that's really annoying. <laughs> that's it for today's installment of Gonkcraft. Hope to see you soon on episode 2, as we hopefully find our brand new home. Until then, stay safe. It is, after all, a dangerous world out there.